Hi, Scorpio. Hey, sis. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. What is going on? I feel a lot of you are feeling much better today. I think you've just kind of calmed down. You're not as nervous, pissed off as you were, which is good. Um, okay, cards are just flying out, and I haven't even done anything yet. Hold on. Ah, the strength card fell on the floor. Could be dealing with a Leo, but I feel it's more of your own inner strength. Scorpio, you are amazing. You know that, and I want you to know that about yourself. You are, okay? For those of you that want to reach out to your person, I can't tell you not to or to do it or not to do it, okay? Um, everybody's situation is different. So whatever you feel in your heart, but you have to be prepared for it not to turn out the way you may want it to be, or it may turn out completely different. I can't tell you that. Um, the only thing I can tell you is that if somebody is being abusive to you or not right with you, there has to come a point where you set up some boundaries, okay? That's all I want to say to you. For those of you that are returning and are here and um, support the channel and subscribe and like and leave comments, I read every single comment and I love each and every one of you and thank you for all your love and your support for me. Um, I'm most humble. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome, welcome. This is a strictly Scorpio channel. Cross watchers, you're welcome here, but um, my job is to look out for Scorpio, okay? You can now follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you need a BFF, right? Because, you know, there always comes a time where we need to talk to somebody. Um, I do answer my people back. That's the difference between me and other channels. Um, you can book a personal reading with me at www.heartpassiontarot.com and then go to products and then tarot card readings, all right? If you want to speak to somebody live right away, um, you can... Um, Talk to one of my hand-picked psychics or clairvoyants or tarot card readers. There's a USA toll-free number and a UK slash Ireland uh, toll-free number where you can call. And I, um, the UK has another number that they can call if they want to be billed on their telephone bill. And also, um, there's SMS, which I answer, right, because I'm on the same time zone as the UK. So you're allowed to answer up to, I mean, to send three questions a day. You have to be 18 or over, okay? And um, send me your questions and I'll answer them for you through SMS, okay? But that's only for the UK only, okay? I don't know what is going on with this camera, why it is the way it is. Hold on, you guys. Let me see. Is that better? Kind of, sort of. I don't know why. It's like, okay. I am looking right at the camera. It's like. It's doing something weird. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, all right. So with that being said, today is March the 23rd, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you in regards to love. All right. Hope you guys are all being safe out there. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It's so important for the growth of the channel because who's better to hang out with than another Scorpio? I'm just saying. Angel, spirit, white light. Okay. So, something is hidden from you, Scorpio. These are the first two cards that came out. I don't know. I don't want to say it's just you. I, I, you know? I feel somebody's really sad without you, and they're not showing it. And you're sad without them, too. It's almost like I'm feeling the energy that the two of you are mirroring one another. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Justice. That's your spiritual advice. In the past, victory. In the present, the Queen of Pentacles. In what's hidden from you, the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Leo, Sagittarius. Cancer, Pisces is here. Libra is here. Okay? Let's see what the other four are. The Seven of Cups for your person, the Ten of Wands. In the Hopes and Fears is the Nine of Wands. 
And in your outcome is the sun. That's beautiful, Scorpio. All right, so let's see. What is spirit trying to tell you? What is spirit trying to tell you? Maybe I should come over this way. Would that help? No. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today with the camera. All right. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm here, and you know I love you, so that's all that matters. Okay, so why is justice here for Scorpio? I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Justice. Why is justice here? The two of swords. So I feel something that was unbalanced, where somebody couldn't make up their mind, they're finally making up their mind. And they're going towards their wish fulfillment now. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the energy is shifting between you and your person. Spirit wants you to know you will get your wish fulfillment. Somebody is bringing justice back to the situation. They've made up their mind. Or you have. Why is justice here in the spiritual message for Scorpio, please? Yeah. The Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Six of Cups. So Spirit's letting you know that offer that you've been waiting for is coming your way. It may start off small, right? But this is definitely your soulmate, what we're talking about here. Okay? But they are coming towards you. In the past, we have the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for Scorpio? Okay. We have the Two of Wands. Oh, here's a card that flipped. Hold on, Scorpio. Let me see what that is. The Three of Pentacles. So I feel that you really wanted to have a victory here but somebody really needed to um, make a choice now this particular person doesn't rush to, I'm taking my bracelet off this particular person doesn't take um, they don't rush into anything right they take their time when they're making a decision I feel this person wants to build with you they do want commitment from you as well but like I said, somebody really needed to come to the conclusion of what they wanted to do. I feel this particular person wanted commitment, but I feel that they were overthinking it a lot. Thinking the worst because they've gone through so much trauma before in their life. But this person is going to find the strength to come towards you, Scorpio. Okay? And I feel that's why they didn't come towards you before. Because they were scared. They've gone through some bad experience before in the past. In the present, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I caught it. God bless. The Ten of Pentacles. So whoever you're dealing with here, if they're an, um, an earth sign, they're very abundant. But I feel like you are too, because you're showing up as the queen of wands. Gender doesn't matter, guys. It's the energies. We all have um, feminine and masculine here, okay? Wow. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. Look at this. The king and the queen of wands with the death card, which means the two of you are going through some transformation right now. Okay, where is this going? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. It's your divine counterpart. You're both good looking. You're both very passionate about each other. You both want each other. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, this um, um, King of Wands. May have Capricorn in their chart. Neither one of you can let go of one another. And you now are showing up as the Queen of Swords as well. So I'm picking up your energies. Wow. Something is coming your way, Scorpio, that's going to make you incredibly happy. 
And I feel it's what you knew all along, that there's going to be this reconciliation with your person that's going to bring you a lot, a lot of happiness. Something is shifting in the air that's bringing the two of you back together again. Okay, what's hidden from you, Scorpio, is the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, they move incredibly, incredibly slow. This person never stopped loving you. Now, this is, if this is your reading, you'll know it's your reading. Don't try to make it fit, right? Because every day I'm picking up different energies. Wow. Okay, we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords here. So it looks like this Knight of Pentacles is being pushed by this Knight of Wands, I mean Knight of Swords, to get moving. Why? Because they know you're their soulmate and they love you. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Somebody's coming to see you. This person could live at a distance from you, Scorpio. This person wants to work on this now. They really do. With the Eight of Pentacles here. You know why? Because they feel so alone. So hurt. So left out in the cold by you. But I feel you feel exactly the same, even though you don't want to admit it. The Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Here we go. You, you're, you're having a beautiful read right now. The Knight of Cups. The Ace of Swords. The Star. And the Eight of Wands. So... This person is coming in to offer you love, to speak their truth. They see you as their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. There's going to be communication coming your way. Very loving and passionate communication. Fast action towards your way. If this person's been stagnant, it's about to change. I'm gathering up all the cards we used already because I want all the cards when I clarify the last four. All right, so let's see what's going on here. For you, you have the Seven of Cups. I think you have choices, but your heart is telling you who you want. And I feel they're getting the exact same message. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I feel, Scorpio, telepathically you may be communicating a little bit sweeter to your person today. All right. The Four of Cups. Four and seven make eleven. Right? And we know eleven is an angelic number. It's also a soulmate number. The Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. This cup is being offered to you, Scorpio. I feel like you've been waiting for it for quite a time. You've been waiting for this person to come towards you from the distance. Seven of Cups, please. Wow. Look, you can't make this up. There's you waiting for your ships to come in and look what's coming towards you. It's beautiful. I love tarot. For your person, the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The moon, the king of pentacles. So I feel this particular king of pentacles has been carrying a heavy burden and he's been keeping his emotions and his feelings to himself. I feel like your person has gone through something and they don't want to um, they just want to deal with it on their own without bothering you with their problems. Wow. Your person's walking away from their past. They're making a new start. They're coming towards you, Scorpio. Do you see this? They're coming towards you. I hope you give them a chance to work things out. Sometimes things don't actually appear the way they appear. The Page of Wands, a brand new start. Maybe something happened. 
You're going to have to make a choice, Scorpio. You're going to have to make a choice. And I feel like it has to do with relocating. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So let me show you something. Where is it? Where is she? Here she is. So we have the Queen and we have the King of Cups now. Okay. So what I see is this person has gone through some major, major burden. Okay, they've been keeping it to themselves. It could be feeling like they lost you, Scorpio. But I feel like they're leaving their past and they're coming towards you because they feel like you are their soulmate. Okay, this person's watching you. This person loves you, Scorpio. In your hopes and fears is the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Scorpio? The King of Wands. Who could be a Virgo, a Gemini. You'll know. But somebody's trying to manifest you. This person's really sad with you, without you, and they've been waiting for you to reach out to them. This person loves you. Scorpio. The lovers just came out. And the hangman in reverse, which is telling me your person is no longer stuck. Okay? They're ready to come forward now. They've gotten the enlightenment they need. And as I said that, the tower flew out. So your person's having an aha moment. <clears throat> that you've been waiting. Well... They've been going through their healing. It's a spiritual connection. I see marriage, Scorpio, for you very soon. For a lot of you. I feel, Scorpio, that you've been carrying this kind of energy, right? Feeling heartbroken. Um... And I feel like you've been healing your heart here, too. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, and you've got the Knight of Wands coming towards you. This person clearly sees where he needs to go with the Queen of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment, Scorpio. Okay, so you may not be on the same page about everything, but I feel you're going to be able to say what you want to say and repair this, okay? Because even though this is the Two of Swords, the swords are pointed down, okay? <clears throat> there is a victory here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Your soulmate. Scorpio. Okay, let me gather all these up because our last card is the Sun. Stay tuned to the end because I will pull love messages for you. The Sun. Don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me a comment because I do read all the comments and subscribe to the channel. Why is the Sun here? Why is the Sun here? Wow, the moon. Guys, when we have the sun and the moon together, that means this is a divine union. Clarify the sun. This person's watching you. Hmm? They want to come towards you. They want to take a leap of faith when it comes to love with you and offer you their cup. Because, Scorpio, they see you 
as their world. And not only that, but I feel whatever that chapter was that happened between the two of you, it had to come to an end. Because the way it was going was not the right way. There's going to be communication coming your way, Scorpio. Or you may communicate to your person. I feel somebody is going to communicate how sad and how much pain they have gone through. And they're going to say that they finally know what they need to do. And they're coming with the chariot. Scorpio, don't forget every day I do a live on Heart Passion Tarot as well, my other channel where I do a daily love reading for all 12 zodiac signs. Ace of Pentacles. So this person's coming in to offer you commitment and they're going against whatever anybody else is saying here. They're not allowing anybody to interfere in this connection. This person is going to give to this connection now. They're different. They know what they did wrong. So you need to give them a chance if you love them, Scorpio. People learn from their mistakes. They're holding on to you. I feel even though they're overthinking in their head, or you may be overthinking in your head, this person is going to try to get through that and still come through. I mean, whatever their worries are, or their fears are, they're going to try to look beyond that and come forward and manifest this connection here. Any other information for Scorpio? Any other information for Scorpio? The Queen of Pentacles now. Okay. So this is your divine counterpart. For some of you, you could still be in that mindset of um, still thinking about this person, still not knowing if they're coming towards your way or not. Okay. This emperor or empress that you've been waiting on. But there's something there, either with this Capricorn or just the connection alone, where you feel like it just can't be wrong. There's no way that you feel like this about this person and you're going to decide to wait and I feel a little bit more patience is needed for this king of cups to come in queen king right this love things will be restored Scorpio they will this person is going to put things back in balance and you're going to be extremely happy the thing is is that you don't know when it's going to happen it's going to require strength on your behalf okay person's offering you marriage and they're extremely passionate about you let's get your love messages for today we have everybody in here Scorpio All right. they do want to marry you that's for sure they do want commitment with you they know you're the one and they know they utterly messed up with you Love messages, please, for Scorpio for March 23rd. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Oh, hold on, the deck is falling apart in my hands. What do we have for Scorpio, please, in regards to love? What love messages do we have for Scorpio for March 23rd? I cry myself to sleep. For Scorpio, for Scorpio, please, love messages for Scorpio. I never felt like this before. 
For me, money is important. I was trying to be bulletproof. I needed to learn from my own mistakes. Yes, they did. For Scorpio, here we go. I'm ready for commitment. Someone is saying I have mother issues. I love you more than words can say. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Wishing you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to check out my other channels listed under channels. I do have a strictly Virgo channel called Virgo Nation. Heart Passion Tarot, where I do a daily tarot card reading for love for all 12 zodiac signs every day. And um, Psychic Royalty, where I do motivational life coaching and teach you different things about the spiritual realm there. Okay? Love to have you there. Okay? Love to have my soul tribe there. All right. I love you, Scorpio. Be safe for me out there. Okay? And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.